Freezing temperatures, meter-high waves, storms with unimaginable speeds and surrounded by dangerous currents. Today we are in the Drake Passage, the most dangerous sea route in the world. Numerous sailors have lost their lives crossing this passage, and even today it is still considered an extremely dangerous adventure. What exactly are we dealing with here? Why is the Drake Passage so dangerous and how do people still manage to conquer this nightmare? We get to the bottom of all these questions in today's video. The Drake Passage is a strait between the southernmost tip of South America and the Antarctic Peninsula in West Antarctica. It is around 800 kilometers wide and is crossed by water currents with a speed of up to 150 million cubic meters per second, making it the strongest current in the world. The first European to actually find a shipping route to reach the west coast of South America was Magellan. He first sailed through the Strait of Magellan, named after him, in the south of South America in the year 1520. This route was much safer, but also longer than the route through the Drake Passage. However, just a few years later, another explorer set out to find the shortest route around the South American continent. The Spanish navigator Francisco de Hox sailed further and further south from the entrance to the Strait of Magellan until he reached the end of the South American continent and thus also discovered the Drake Passage. Despite this, the passage was named after the English buccaneer Francis Drake. He never crossed it and was not the first to discover it. He was merely driven south by a storm after crossing the Strait of Magellan and discovered the waterway. He eventually informed the British that there was open water south of South America, and they eventually named the passage after him. Only some Spanish-language sources refer to the strait as the Amar de Hoxt. The first person to actually cross this strait was the Dutch navigator Jacob Lemaire, who also gave the southern tip of South America the name Cape Horn. But why exactly is this passage so dangerous? For one thing, the cold seawater from the south meets the warm seawater from the north there, creating strong eddies that are accompanied by rough winds and occasionally severe storms. This phenomenon even has its own name and is called the Drake Shake. It is also where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Pacific Ocean, resulting in choppy seas. Hurricanes often originate from the Pacific Ocean in particular, which is usually warmer. It is also extremely cold there, with average temperatures only just above freezing and the fastest currents in the world can be found there. Peak velocities of more than 150 million cubic meters per second are reached, which is about 600 times that of the Amazon. This makes the Drake Passage one of the largest ship graveyards in the world. It is assumed that over 800 ships have capsized or run aground. In total, tens of thousands of people are said to have lost their lives here at the end of the world. Of course, the crossing has become much easier today thanks to modern ship and radar technology, but it is still a great challenge for all sailors and you should not underestimate the Drake Passage. However, you will be rewarded with unique flora and fauna to discover on the few islands there and at Cape Horn. The crossings to the Arctic Peninsula, where you can observe penguins and other animal inhabitants, are particularly popular these days. However, the sailor's adage applies, Antarctica does not cost an entrance fee, the price is the Drake Passage. In the year 2019, a crazy group of adventurers even managed to cross the Drake Passage by rowing boat. The journey took 12 days and the rowers took turns in 90-minute shifts. The boat never stood still. When they arrived in Antarctica on the 25th of December, they had a world record in their pockets. The daring adventurers document their journey in the film, The Impossible Row, which I highly recommend.